So Rich, we were talking about different people that you had in your gym and the, the sort of the reasons they'd started doing martial arts. Now, I always, I've not done any martial arts, but I was really curious to wonder if, because the aggression is really useful in the sport, does it tend to attract more aggressive people or? Martial arts, in my experience, I yeah. mean, I've been doing it a long time now, it attracts, <laughs> it attracts. Got a wealth of knowledge. You're three good... different type of groups of people. Okay. Right, okay, so you've got, you've got the people who just want to do it for fitness and just to better themselves, so confidence building, or you might get people, a massive, a, a real popular one for me, just bored of the gym, want to try something different. That's the one group of people. Okay. then got the wannabes. Now, the wannabes. The wannabes. <laughs> the wannabes, yeah. So. Do you call them that as they come in? I call them that when Do they come in. Tell me what you yeah. hear. Right, you're, you're a wannabe. You're going to stand in the you wannabe. You go to the left, <laughs> that's right, yeah. Because what happens is they, they, they call me and I have questions, ask people on the phone. And yeah. one's, what, what specifically would you like to achieve from, from my martial so you, arts? So you don't just like let anybody No, in. definitely not, definitely not. That's great, yeah. And um, I want to be a fighter or I want to be in the UFC. I'm really? This is what some day people, one, they say that. I want to be in the UFC. Say, yeah, some people say this to me and uh, they'll come down. And when they realise how much hard work and ded- dedication is involved, they generally last about a week and they're gone. Yeah. And the third group, going back to that question, is definitely uh, does martial arts attract aggressive people? And yes, it does. Because, really? Yeah, I mean, but this is where me as a school owner, I've got a responsibility because... You've got to protect people, surely. Yeah, of course we have. But I mean, for me, everyone's entitled to come down to my gym and have a taster session. Yeah. Anybody, anyone can go off the street and try my classes, but not everyone's entitled to join my gym. And this is a massive, massive mean. Have you asked, so you have to turn members away if they're... Oh, definitely. I've turned people away and really? I've people out, yeah. Oh, wow. I mean, this is a lesson I think I learned really early on, and anyone listening could be quite a bit of useful information, but we all know, if you let, what should we call them? Let's call them arseholes, yeah. people. Let's call them arseholes. If you let an arsehole into your gym, uh, they're going to attract more arseholes, Value of they? association, they'll draw them in. Exactly, they yeah, and then before you know it, it before you know it, you've got a gym full of arseholes, and that's your yeah. reputation, and not just that, we're teaching martial arts, so we're potentially teaching people teach people to defend themselves mm-hmm. but potentially we're teaching people to these hurt people as yeah. Well. Yeah. if you so wanted to use these things to do something if we've wrong. got um, I don't know some some arsehole training with me and then I, if they're going down the pub on a Friday Saturday night getting pissed and smacking people about so it's not the people want to be associated no, 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 with no, is no. it because you'll soon go they'll be like that dude can handle himself where does he go ah yeah he goes to Rich Moon's place exactly it's not good is it not good not good and not only will it attract more to the gym I imagine the people that are sincerely there for the right reasons will also leave because they oh, see yeah, the course. environment it's changing. Bad for, it's bad for business, mate. It's Absolutely. really bad for business. And not, not just in the martial arts environment. If you let arseholes join, they attract arseholes. You yeah. allow good, genuine people to join. They're going to so attract good, So if you get the idea that, oh, I think this guy, you know, we're all go, you know, weighing him up and you're like, there might be a bit of an arsehole. Do you sort of encourage them to spar with you first? Because you're like, you're the, you're the shield of the gym, <laughs> if we call it that. No, People have got to hurt you before, you know, you wouldn't spar them up with somebody. No, you know. definitely not. I mean, don't get me wrong. We could tell you some stories. I mean, if, if if I don't like somebody, they don't join my gym. If I've got a bad feeling about somebody, yeah. they're not joining. Yeah. It's as simple as that because you've got a huge initiative, haven't you? There's a big thing to be said for gut feel as well. Oh, it's def- huge. Definitely. It's that visceral feeling of, Without I can't work out what is wrong here, but I don't like your energy. You know Exactly. You're... I mean... I think the main thing here really is you can't be afraid yeah. to get rid of somebody, mm-hmm. especially within the business environment. Because when I first started out and I had 10 members, if an arsehole did come along, that's going to be my 11th paying member. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he can join. Yeah, of course, everybody member. come in. But before you know it, it's, yeah. not, it's not going nowhere. I mean, don't ever be afraid to kick somebody out. And that's, that goes it takes a lot though, doesn't it? Because when people say, Oh, I'm not afraid of conflict. And you go, yeah, maybe you like hitting people in the face and stuff like that. But when you can't necessarily use your fists and it's a case of sitting there looking somebody in the eye mm-hmm. and saying, I, w- I want to talk to you about what's just happened and how I feel about it, just so I can get your thoughts oh, before exactly. I make a decision about it. I've done it so many times. Yeah? So many times. I mean, I've had genuine good people come into the gym, yeah. uh, but then they change when they're training. So really? this is where that controlled aggression comes in, isn't it? I mean, okay. I've had people having a little role, they may have got something like a chokehold. And they don't let them go. And their opponent tags. <laughs> Yeah. And they're still choking them. Yeah, like, yeah, what was going on? It's like a light. So, something switched. They've just gone into yeah. absolute killer mode. So you're like scanning the whole mats oh, all the time. Yeah, that, can you, how many people can you coach as, as one person then to effectively coach? Because they're, they're grappling, they're turning, they're rolling. There's no, there's no, there's no limit really. But I mean, in, in my sessions, I like no more than about 30. Still, that's a lot. You know, you pass 15 it pairs. Yeah, it's, you know. a, it's a lot, but... When, when Susie's choking out Jess on the far side, oh, yeah, you can't you're go right, see you're her. Right, you are right. And you go, hey, Jess is looking awfully blue over there. It's, <laughs> it's good when little Jess is choking out 18 stone Trev. That's, 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 it's, always, it's, always, it's always Trev, isn't it? That's good. Always bless, Trev. Bless Trev. Always Trev. You feel quite confident, Trev. Step in, brother. Let's uh, <laughs> just jig Trev. Mate, like I love it. I absolutely love it. Especially women. Right? Yeah. Honestly. And a lot of martial arts coaches listening, they'll, they'll totally agree. A lot of women uh, that join our gym, they're never going to be as strong as men, are they? It's just, mm-hmm. it's very rare to come against 
a woman and a male the same sort yeah, of frame. absolutely but women really get the technique and yeah. work a lot on the technique because they're so smarter than us we know we know they're smarter without than a us. doubt without <laughs> a doubt <laughs> we're, we're the brawn not the brains. That at all <laughs> but yeah when we see some of the ladies using the technique you get some big big blokes it's impressive vicious it makes you feel good though as well because you've taught that yeah stuff absolutely school. it's very because um, i imagine you know you get people like me who just think I'm going to muddle my way through and overwhelm you with my sheer size. And yeah. you're like, dude, that, that's not going to work. I appreciate you're very enthusiastic. It's not going to work. No, <laughs> you know definitely, what I mean? Definitely not. Because I suppose martial arts is especially one of those sports where you use somebody's power against them. It's not like CrossFit where we're both going at 100 kilos. You're in your lane, I'm in my lane, and 100 kilos is always going to be 100 kilos. If I'm bigger and stronger than you, maybe that's going to be the game changer. With this, there's so many more factors going on, surely. There is the, the, beauty, the beauty of martial arts as well. Don't get me wrong, if we go to competition, you're going to be against someone the same weight as yourself. Yeah. But weight class is, is massive because if anybody says in a fight, size doesn't matter, yeah. of course it fucking matters. <laughs> if you're still in front of an absolute beast, yeah. even if he doesn't know anything, yeah. is I always say to the guys that I train with, when we go to big fights, we go to weigh-ins and your opponent weighs in. And when you're doing low level like amateur stuff, someone can weigh in three or four kilos heavier than you. Okay. And you can still fight them. On a professional level. Three or level, four kilos? That's a like half yeah. a stone. Yeah. On a professional level, we can't. I think I think the limit, again, depending on the promotion, is between 0.2 and 0.5. That's the allowance you get. So you have to have a kilo. Come, yeah. Yeah. You have to come within that weight bracket. Sometimes even smaller. That's a small that's a small bracket. Yeah. But on the lower level, you can I've been to shows before and they're like half oh, a it, stone's it, a lot. It's only two, three, four, five kilos heavier. We'll fight him. <laughs> we're like, no, no, no. You're not <laughs> fighting him. And again, our job as coaches, you're not fighting him. But I always say to them, I'll tell you what, let's go get a carrier bag. I'm gonna put this five kilogram disc in this bag. Yeah. Let me hit you around the head with it. You tell me five kilogram. Yeah. Doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. Yeah. You'll, you'll matter.